All right, so the dragon spread his rings, he returned, and then he took his breath. I guess now the moon rises. Dracula never breathed a word of it, but many began to think that his time at the Ottoman court had stoked his hatred for his southern neighbor. For years, he had brooded over his brother, Radu, who had treacherously pledged himself to the Turks. Dracula also had his vows to the Order of the Dragon to consider. The Pope and the Hungarian regent both desired war with the Turks. In the year 1462, Sultan Mehmet II renewed his efforts and sent a force of 18,000 into Wallachia. Thinking that Dracula would be unable to mobilize his army quickly enough, the Sultan sought to take Wallachia by storm with this small force. He was, of course, sadly mistaken. I had heard whispers of the Danube butchering, but never a first-hand account. Dracula's enduring ability to overcome the most fearsome force of his time mesmerized me. Dracula had a thirst for blood unlike any other, but he was fair. His sense of justice brought a change in all of us. Dracula taught us to use our strengths to our advantage. Terror speed and surprise became weapons more potent than our blades. All right, there's a lot of us out here. Us, William, the countryside. Radu Bey, Sultan Maha Mah Mahid, the Ottoman Empire, Hungary, and the Al Alkali? Alkali Cavalry. Our objective is to win the initial battle against the Ottoman force. Vlad Dracula can support a population of 200, but his offensive strategies prohibits the production of trebuchets, rams, warships, and petards. Okay. The Ottoman siege camps are bristling with fortifications. Assaulting them would be suicide. The combination of spring rains and sabotage has rendered most local forts and bridges impassable. This has isolated the enemy forces and funneled them into Vlad's fortress. But it has also made each fortress more difficult to reinforce. Take advantage of the unique geography near each fortress to harry enemy forces and soften their attacks. The Relation peasants are known, are known double dealers. Weigh their utility to you against the threat of well-fed enemies. To defend Valachia from the Turks, Vlad, Dracula, and Red has manned three fortresses. Fargus in the open north, Raznov in the forested east, and his citadel in Honorai in the mountain southwest. These are besieged from all directions. Radu Bey and Cyan, Dracula's rival brother, attacks Fargus from the west and north with boyars, pikemen, and rams. The main Ottoman army in purple threatens Raznov from the east with cavalry archers, knights, and petards, but may also construct uh, trebuchets. Sultan Mahad II, the conqueror in blue, marches on Ponari from the south. His elite vanguard consists of longswords, janissaries, and bombard cannons. Several Lachian villages in yellows are supplying Dracula's forces and are also potential trading partners. These will yeah, these will be preying upon, or preyed upon, uh, at sporadic intervals by Ottoman raiding parties of the cavalry in grey. Hungary in green has pledged to aid Dracula against the Turks, but has sent no word as of late. I have no idea how this mission is going to go. I got a feeling it's not going to be, uh, easy. Finish these Ottoman. Oh, I do not like this mission. Round three, or attempt three. Finish these Ottoman yeah. dogs. Okay, but you two over here. What prisoners you can. You will over there, grab that. Yeah. One upset does Flubber. not win a war, Vlad. Go over there. Yeah. Ten over there. times the number of men that you just faced advance you as over we there. speak. You, Prepare. over there to grab that. And then, the castles are put it in there. To this region. We must defend them all from the Turkish onslaught. Get you guys. Uh, for you, we grab this. That. And 
you. Same thing. Okay. So, we can either try to steal their villagers, or hold on to them. And my previous attempt was trying to steal their units, and it went, uh, completely terrible. So, I'm not gonna deal with that, and instead use what I got to, uh, hopefully get everything else done instead. Uh, that does mean that I'm gonna have to keep these villagers alive. I'm going to doing this way. Put you guys back. My lord, the boyards and the peasants in the countryside will provide us with resources to field our armies. But they are a fickle lord. Yes, they are. Perhaps it would be wise to seize what they have before they turn it over to the Turks. That sounds like a plan, however, I don't know if that's the best. Trying to attack them just makes another enemy for me to have to deal with. And keeping them around means, one, I get trade going. Even if it's not a whole lot, it's free trade. And, uh, two... Uh, I got the relics, so that's more gold coming into my coffers. Okay, so you're gonna go down there and grab that. Alright, I'm gonna send one guy over this way. And one guy over this way. There we go, that's the second relic just being cap collect captured. Collected. What are boyars weak? The Sultan's oh, not much. Shine like gold in the sun. <clears throat> Soon, they will add your silver to our coffers. Ottoman forces threaten your stronghold at Boyanari, my lord. I'm assuming it means this one. Oh no, this one. Okay. Oh shoot, I thought I grabbed- Ugh. I hit the wrong guys. Oh yeah, let's get more trade going. More trade means more cards, more cards means more money. More money means I can stop buying resources that I need to be dealing with everything else. Uh, also, I want you. 400 food, 400 wood. Alright. Oh, also, if I'm not going for villagers, I don't need the stone. Get rid of that. And let's grab you for the extra health. Uh, range weapons and siege, warships plus one range, siege equipment. Yeah, I don't think I need any of that. And for you, I don't know if I need you. Also, I swear to God, it loves to go over the house instead of the archery range. How do I choose that? I am getting a bunch of cuts, and you only give me, like, what, 22? 21. So, yeah, not the most amount of money. Duh. Alright, uh, how about you go over here? Oh, oops. There's one. I'm assuming there's more coming. Uh, I'm gonna send you over this way. <coughs> another trade court set up. Oh, and we got another guy. Rasnov is under siege. Defend it at all costs. Also, be on the lookout for petards. Well, anything that's gonna be uh, an issue to my range. My range. My, uh, castles. 
especially at range. I also really love attacking this side. Oh shoot, get out of the way. Oh, really? You got it at that close of a range? That's lame. Oh, good, we got more money. I didn't even notice. Peter, sorry, attacking the shit on that far garage. Uh, didn't I have more units up this way? Pretty sure I had more units up this way. Can have you move down. Get rid of him. Oh, back it up. And these guys can take a beating. I'm like, eh, I'm needing more resources. Wait, I'm not a monk. Did my monk die? Okay, these guys keep going out and about to locations that I have no idea where they keep going to. Okay, anytime now, guys, I could really start using some resources. Do you remember Radu Bey, your brother? The legions of Janissaries under his command alone outnumber the peasant rabble that you call an army. Yeah, well, this so-called peasant rabble is, uh, winning, so... Get up. I definitely need food. Like, the issue is that I need a lot of food. That's why I'm going with a bunch of trade cards to ensure we get money so I can always buy food when needed. Did? The fortress of Rashnov is under siege. Defend it at all costs. Defend it at all costs! Alright, you. Uh, I don't have much. Good job, everybody. We definitely lost, uh, we definitely lost some numbers, but, uh, we will survive. Oh, no, back it up. Ottoman forces threaten your stronghold at Puyanari, my lord. I think my guy just destroyed my army.
Nothing? Okay. Oh, shoot. It just never ends, and we're only 20 minutes in. Neat. Got somebody. I wonder if calling a bunch of monks might be a better option. That way we can just start stealing their units rather than killing them all. Oh my god, what happened to all my units up here? What the heck happened? Now, why did you stop there? You lived. That's good. Oh, not good. Oh, they have the thing that, uh, yeah, redemption or whatever it's called? No, redemption. Uh, they die rather than get converted. Oh, I have military all over the place. I definitely need this map to find out where everybody is. Although it's not the prettiest map. The fortress of Rashnov is under siege. <laughs> Bend it at all costs. And here we go. Dang you. I think to move back. Oh, god dang it. You almost had that too. Oh, this side's doomed. I think I'm screwed. Even the vast walls of Constantinople crumbled before the might of our bombards. Do you truly think that your these new fortifications will withstand the barrage? Well, thank you for talking, because that let me know. Okay, well, good. We're getting resources soon enough. over here.
Alright, keep it coming. Keep it coming. God dang you. I should have the elite scrums down here, if anything. I don't know why I'm not doing that. Because they're always... I'm always seeing out units out there that are always, uh... Well, they're sending out the gunners. So I need something that's gonna be able to fight off the gunners. The fortress of Rashnov is under siege. Defend it at all costs. I literally think... Okay, I think I'm good for, like, a second. And then we get attacked again. Oh, it's about time. Oh, shoot now. Everywhere. Oh, don't go that way. Get over here! Cause I need you. Oh god, I don't like this mission. I'm going to send you guys up this way. Get rid of that. That'll give them a little bit of more space to get by. Going there. 